My name is Nancy Lee. 我叫李南平 I'm originally from Taiwan, and I'm currently based in Vancouver, BC. I'm an interdisciplinary media artist, a filmmaker, curator, event planner, and cultural producer. Hi, my name is Karen Bumber, Karen Deep Gore Bumber. I am based in Vancouver, BC, and I am a media artist, a composer, sound designer, educator, and performer. And Nancy and I are the co-creators of the Union exhibition. So Union is a speculative、uh, science fiction.、Um, Exhibition、um, and this exhibition is set in the year three thousand, where an air apocalypse has happened and we've lost all of our digital data due to cyber warfare and all、um, print information and archives have been burned and used as fuel. So humans no longer have access、uh, to their history, and we are、uh, getting married. Um, in year three thousand, for us to discover our ancestral memories through the practice of、uh, ritualistic performance. When you walk into、uh, the Richmond Art Gallery, you will see in the first galleries the two different narratives of the two characters in the Union world and their relationship with one another, and the relationship with themselves, discovering their past through touch and performance, and you'll also see their relationship with the dystopic world、um, that is taking place in Year Three Thousand, and then you'll also see、uh, their relationship with. Uh, the cyber world, which is a, a chipped-in、um, computerized space where you go and you experience pleasure, and that's called Gaia. So you'll see a two-channel film representing the two different characters in their worlds and their relationship with one another. You'll also see a sculpture symbolizing. Their relationship, and then you'll also see throughout the gallery advertisements of subscribing to the Gaia world. You'll also see、uh, wedding dresses that the two characters wear when they are performing their ritualistic wedding. And then when you go into gallery three, you will see you will have a、um, experience a sixteen channel. Surround sound audio installation with a floor projection, and the idea behind this gallery space is so that participants and audience members can inhabit the worlds that take place in Union, and so we're using、uh, motion tracking software to track the audiences in the space and using that to trigger sounds and projections on the floor. My practice is more of a visual practice.、Um, as a media artist and filmmaker, mostly work in the visual realm.、Um, and Kieran、um, works a lot with sound, so naturally uh, we uh, complement each other very well.、Um, we're also because of the nature of the kind of work that we do. We often work with、um, emerging technologies.、Um, oftentimes, we require a much larger team. Um, with consultants, technicians, and mentors that can support us in developing the process.、Uh, for both Kira and I's collaboration, we generally focus on the process、um, and、uh, of how we want to go about what we、uh, what we want to make.、Um, so for us. Uh, the process is extremely important. It's not really just about oh, like I want to make an exhibition about this、uh, issue or using this specific technology. It's more about how we go about、um, doing that. So that comes back down to、uh, relationship and research and development. Yeah, I think there's a lot of pre-production that goes behind、uh, our work, and so that spends a lot of time. Researching and、um, you know, luckily we come from a wide a wide network of other media artists and technologists 
that are working in similar fields. Um, so we, ha we do have access to that knowledge. Um, and so it's about consulting and figuring out, um, you know, what seems feasible and what seems interesting to us, you know, like, okay, I want to use this technology. Well, why do I want to use it? Um, what, what am I trying to convey? Uh, what's the message that I can use with this technology that I can't with something else? Uh, and then from there, you know, we'll do our own research and a lot of it is about self-learning and becoming quick at self-learning. And then also um, working with, yes, collaborators and mentors to help us along the way. When planning uh, for the Vision Art Gallery, I first thought about my relationship uh, to the Minoru community because I also grew up in Richmond, um, and this is like the area I grew up in. Um, so I'm familiar with the space, and uh, you know, as like a DIY kind of producer, um, event organizers working in warehouse spaces or awkward spaces, like this did not seem that difficult necessarily uh, to work with. Um, you know, the last gallery space, the octagonal space was, you know, quite inspiring and uh, that space definitely inspired um, the last piece. Yeah, especially, you know, the symmetrical octagonal space and we, in our story, we talk about um, like sites of memory or the activation of memory and also um, of sacred spaces and that geometry made me feel when we walked in there it felt like a sense of like okay this is a space where one can witness and so it felt um it felt like a good place to have something immersive um as opposed to you know the the grander wider side of the the gallery one and two before going into the octagonal space the wedding dresses are actually quite significant in the work because they the idea of having and wearing wedding dresses was the catalyst of this whole project. Uh, so when Nancy and I were first conceptualizing the story, you know, it came about when we were having a conversation about how we we essentially wanted these like ball and gowns we just we just wanted to access um something traditional and something out of reach that wouldn't happen in our lives today like i wouldn't have a traditional wedding and neither would it would nancy um so it was this idea of um want the the desire for the dress um, and so we worked with um, Adam not dead yet is Adam's label and we talked about our relationships um, with dresses and with weddings and our relationship with our tradition and from there um, he really understood um, our desire and also our struggle with all of those topics and then um, we were able to craft uh, these dresses that also took into account our own personalities in IRL and also uh, what our characters represent in the union world. Originally, when we conceptualized uh, this exhibition, we uh, really wanted to perform in it. Um, both Kieran and I are performers, um, first and foremost. Uh, so because of COVID and um, the restrictions and you know the lack of touch that we've all experienced within the last year, um, we thought about how we could um, include the presence of touch and just include presence in general uh, of figures um, into the gallery space. So that's why um, the sculpture is the way it is, um, is a way to communicate a sense of touch and a sense of longing um, and intimacy that we've uh, all been missing um, since last March.